Hello and welcome to your message from spirit. I'm medium Jalen and I'm so happy that you're here today because I have so many great messages to give out to so many great people and I tried to put in some quick messages in between if I felt just even a little bit around what it is that you wrote but thank you so much for participating once again there were over a thousand comments collectively everywhere I looked and snooped possibly for comments I could find because some people have privacy settings and I wasn't able to see the comments left on people's walls for that so there could have been well over a thousand comments but I'm super excited to be able to tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing next week because as of next week your message from spirit will be moved out of a social media forum and into a membership forum and what I mean by that is that your message from spirit is now public it's on YouTube it's on Facebook and Twitter and Google Plus but starting next week your message from spirit is only going to be available exclusively to members of the Infinity Fan Club, which will be part of the mediumjaylane.com website. I'm so excited about this because I have been wanting to do this for such a long time to bring you your message from Spirit, to bring you a forum where you can go and call home and talk to other people and share your grief and your experiences so that everybody could heal together. And so I'm so excited about Share Your Story. I'm so excited about your message from Spirit. And there's gonna be all kinds of little goodies in between. So you need to go and register at mediumjlane.com under the join button. We haven't officially launched, but for the free memberships, certainly go in and start joining. And if you're interested in the paid membership as well, there's all kinds of goodies that we're offering to those people as well and contest and free readings and all kinds of goodies. So the paid membership has a little bit more perks to it, but I'm going to tell you, your message from Spirit will always be available to non-paying and to paying members. So just to let you know that. And so I'm so excited now to tell you all the messages that I have. And so I tried to squeeze in a couple of quick messages as well. So there might be a few extra people in here today but I'm so happy. Now, there were well over a thousand comments and some people had privacy settings. I wasn't able to see what they posted or how they shared, that kind of thing. And so I wasn't able to see if there were more comments there and I would imagine that there were. So, you know, by joining the membership site, this is going to eliminate this problem because all the comments will be posted in one area. All the videos will be posted in one area. All the archives, to everything will be posted in one area. Oh my God, you should see this thing. I'm so freaking pumped. Okay, so let's start your message from Spirit. And please keep in mind that although these are very personalized messages for people that I'm giving out names for, these can also be for you. So you may have a situation that's the same. You may have a situation in a passing that's the same. So just know that Spirits have a very, very, interesting way of getting these messages across. So I'm going to start. So thank you so much for participating. The very first person that I, I felt something around was Tracy Baudouin. And Tracy, you know what? Your dad is so happy that he passed away very quickly. And the thing is, I don't think it was such a good thing for your mom, okay? But he makes me feel that he was so happy with this because your dad never wanted to suffer. Never, never, never. And this is a person that didn't want to burden other people with illnesses or with his problems. So he makes me feel that he did receive his wish. He passed away rather quickly maybe not in the environment he should have unfortunately but he does make me feel that he's very happy now he's a little bit muddy which means that I don't know if he's been gone just a short time or if it's been a few years I don't know if there's something to do with a lack of oxygen somehow or if it's just like a stroke aneurysm or a heart attack but they do make me feel there was a lack of oxygen for a moment or like I feel something coming on for a moment now he wants to say hi to everyone this is a man that I feel is very very proud of his family I would think that there's many children around he also makes me feel there's someone that delivers things so I don't know if there's someone that works you know for a delivery company or if he worked for a delivery company if there's something being delivered but he keeps on showing me deliveries 
I don't think it's storks and babies because I'm not seeing it that way. He does make me feel that there's a miscarriage with him. He makes me feel that's a female and that would have been about seven to eight weeks. And so I don't know exactly whose miscarriage that would be because I would think that you would have more than one sister to your side. And so I would just get the sense, Tracy, that that would be, um, you know, connected to you, however. So it wouldn't be like a sister-in-law's child, that kind of thing. I would think it would be connected to his sister. Now he makes me feel rather happy. I think that this still haunts you know other people around you and I can imagine how traumatic this is because I can't even imagine you know, having something like that happen to me and you're not expecting this passing because he doesn't really make me feel that there was a huge um, how would I say it symptom before he passed I think just like a very sudden onset he was very happy to see two people he hadn't seen in probably about 15 to 20 years there's something to do with a Michelle or a Mike or an M I name so it could be like a Marie with an I in it. It could be Mathieu, like, you know, in French, uh, M.I. Morris. But just keep in mind an M and an I in that, but he makes me feel there's something to do with that around him as well. Okay. I want to thank you so much, Tracy. Don't you worry so much about him. He's doing good. He makes me feel that you talk to him a lot or that you communicate with him a lot. He makes me feel that you're receiving a little bit of good news or that you've had some difficulties but they're getting a little bit lighter now so really really happy for you I want to thank you so much for sharing your heart today and and thank you so much for everything that you do and, and for participating in your message from spirit now the next person I had and I felt a lot around this person was Julie Laflamme and Julie don't don't you worry about your dreams honey um, Julie you know wrote in her post that she had only had one dream and that the dream I think was disturbing or upsetting somehow. But the thing is, I would get the sense that your mom is very, very, very happy. You know, I get the sense that she suffered a little bit or there's some suffering around her somewhat. But the thing is, she doesn't really remember the trip or she doesn't really remember getting to the other side. A lot of people ask me, you know, how traumatic is it for someone to die? And I always tell people this, and I really impress on this, um, you know, fact that if you don't remember being born, most likely you wouldn't remember passing away. But, you know, I'm going to tell you that your mom doesn't really make me feel she remembers that trip. So that's really a good thing in essence. And the thing is, she's so happy. Um, there's also an older male that said hi that was along with her. I would get something to do with a blood disorder or something wrong with the blood. There's also a younger male that came through with that older male that made me feel that he died of the I'm sorry either of an infection or something wrong with his blood in terms of like um, maybe a poisoning or uh, carbon monoxide it could even be something like that but it doesn't necessarily mean by way of suicide you know it could be even like gas fumes in a home or even like you know a fire and and someone's sleeping and then they breathe in carbon monoxide but they make me feel there was some kind of like lack of oxygen or there's something wrong with that blood and I'd almost get the sense of that but anyways I want to let you know Julie they're so happy to the other side I get the sense that there's something to do with someone pulling on ears so I don't know if there's ear infections around you or if there's something to do with someone's ear to one side especially but I also get the sense around that so I don't know what they're trying to tell me but just to watch around either the side of the head or the ear or if there's something to do with deafness in one ear or if you need a hearing aid or someone around you does but just to watch around that okay I want to thank you so much uh, you know for, for sharing your heart with me and and you know for putting it out there but I'm gonna tell you Julie always with you always always with you and keep on talking to her she loves being acknowledged um, there was something to do with the blue dress also that she mentioned now that I come to think of it but I don't know in what respect she meant but there's something to do with the blue dress and then I always hear silver bells silver bells so that's a, like a Christmas song so I don't know if there's something to do with a Christmas theme around you or if there's someone that you know passed away around Christmas time or if there's just like a favorite song or something but I kept on hearing that as well thank you so much once again for participating in your message from spirit now Nikki Jones Nikki 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 you had me in tears 
with your message my god and i have to tell you that um kind of felt around you in terms of like your own personal pain i don't know if you're hanging on to someone suffering before a passing um i had that october or 10 was important or january or the first was important around you um the thing is i have the feeling that your mom was sick and some people that know that they're too sick or know that they've been given a really short time sometimes keeps it to themselves because they don't want people feeling sorry for them. I get the sense that your mom's a little bit of a private type of person or didn't want people knowing her private business or maybe just didn't want to share in her illness, you know. But I do get the sense that she might have said something about a week or two before or maybe started hinting around to certain things or you would have probably noticed some behavioral changes in terms of trying to put her affairs in order because she does make me feel that she did try now i don't know if your mother kind of knew longer than that because i'd almost get the sense making i hate to tell you that that she would have known but i think you know maybe it's just because of the way she personally felt um, you know around her illness and she didn't want to put the kids through stuff you know she didn't want to put anybody through anything it, it keeps on doing this when I'm talking to you so I don't know but anyways just to let you know that I don't know unless someone did that to her or there's someone around you that does that or grabs their face or, or their chin but just to let you know this is a very proud person that didn't want people you know knowing her weaknesses type thing so i would just think that it was just a very unselfish act i know that inside your heart you would have wanted to share you know this traumatic time with your mom and and, and share in her illness and try to comfort her and but you know what i just get the feeling that there's really not much you could have done just the same and i think that just enjoying the last little bit of time that she did have i think made her happy made her you know just enjoy the moments that she had without having any kind of anticipated expectation to if you kind of understand what i'm saying so nikki i just want you to sit you know to understand that um she mentions the number five or the month of may and she also gave me the number 17 but i don't think it's may 17th could be um, 17, let's just dissect for a second, January either 7th or October 7th, or if we flip the 17 around, it would be July 1st or July 10th or in between those days. But there's something to do with that as well that she brings up. So just to let you know, to pay attention to that, or it could just be something that she's acknowledging in terms of birthdays, anniversaries, or passings. You know, it's going to take a little while to get over this, it, you know, death is such a difficult thing Nikki and to let go of people is such a difficult thing but I can feel your pain and just allow yourself that time to grieve allow yourself to miss her she's really never that far I'm going to tell you that and very 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 happy you know that you reached out here today and that you did put your comments down on your message from spirit because I have to tell you without that I don't think that I would have gotten as much but thank you so much for sharing I'm going to move on. That one was really kind of heart-wrenching for me, Nikki. And I just want to reach out and give you a great big hug. So, you know, I thank you so much. Now, I had, an, this is a short little message, but Jamie Louise Ull, your dad and an older male always around you, always, always. Also, an accident from either the late 60s, early 70s comes through. Now, they do make me feel that this is connected to your dad somehow or to the father's side and also same name as so i don't know if there was the same name as your father or juniors or seniors that kind of thing but anyways a great big hello they show me and it's gonna sound silly but they show me carnivals and i don't know why or or like those carousels you know with the horses unless they're just meaning like sagittarius or december it's the only thing i can think of with horses but they do make me feel there's something to mention around that but a big big hello i felt his essence around the minute i started to read your post so thank you so much for sharing that with me and keep on writing in jamie because I'm going to tell you I may not have gotten as much this time but I may the next time thank you so much now 
and Savard. And I have to tell you, I felt, oh my goodness, the, the minute I started reading your post, I saw gold chains or gold necklaces or really glittery gold. And it was beautiful. Oh, my hair is so perfect. My hair is so perfect. So I don't know who says, oh geez, my hair is so perfect. So I don't know who was saying that, but I kept on hearing my hair is perfect. A names other than you. So you're Anne, but A names other than you. So I didn't know if it was Anita, Anna, Anne Marie, Angela, Andre, like even a male, Andy, you know, that kind of thing. But they acknowledge that. And I have to tell you, I get the sense of a T name on the other side, like Terry or Teresa, or it could be something to do with like a last name. Or if you have no T names, it's redheads, redheads, okay? Something to do with someone that's passed away with red hair. Might sound silly, but that's what I'm getting, all right? And I get the sense that there was a little bit of stress around you in the family or even around yourself, not quite clear on that. They do make me feel that the banker's gonna do good by you. So I don't know if it's like loans or agreements, that kind of thing, or if someone owes you money, the banker's gonna do good by you. So I'm like, in other words, you're either getting a better interest rates or you're negotiating some kind of loans or agreements or repaying something. Or someone is repaying you, but they make me feel happy about that and I feel abundance. Like in other words, I feel like I'm saving money somehow. This for me would be, would be within the next six to eight months or they make me feel six or eight. So I don't know if it's between June, July and August being the sixth to the eighth month but I got something to do with that. They also showed me the number nine. So I didn't know if it was nine for September or just nine for like a nine year, 69, 1979, 89, 99, 2009, but there's something to do with that as well, okay? And I wanna thank you so much for writing in and I'm so, so happy that you did. Keep on writing in even though you did because sometimes I'll get a little bit more around that but that's what I'm picking up for now. Lots of love comes through for you so I just wanna let you know that. And thank you so much again for sharing your heart with us. Now, Alison curry Beaulieu. Allison, your mom's always around, and my God, does she ever talk a lot. So I don't know if she's just starting to wake up a little bit more. She makes me feel that she was there, um, you know, hearing you when you talked to her in the hospital. She says there was a night in particular that you had a little chat with her, and I think it was about her passing or that you knew she was passing, and you kind of told her that so that she would understand that because she didn't know or nobody had told her yet. So she says she's aware of that. Now things are improving in your life. So she makes me feel that when she passed away, your world kind of fell apart. So I don't know if you just had a lot of stress just even around business, personal type of relationships, passings, you know, that kind of thing. A lot of loss in a lot of different senses. But she makes me feel that these things are finally improving. She says that you were jumping from one thing to another. Jump, 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 stop jumping, she says. So in other words, I think that you need to settle down somehow into one thing. And I don't know if that's a pattern over your lifetime in trying to find yourself somehow, or maybe somehow, you know, you start to do something, you really love it, and then you get bored with it, or you just want to move on to something else, or I don't know what the case is, but she just makes me feel that you need to plant yourself or secure your roots somewhere, you know, and not to wait too much longer to do that. So in other words, I would just get the sense that you kind of, kind of have to like plant your feet down somewhere. She says there's paperwork and deadlines and things to get settled and then there's something to do with weight loss. I don't know if you've lost weight or if you've gained it, but I would get the sense of something to do with weight loss. Like I have to lose it or I'm losing it, okay? So the thing is she does make me feel important about that. I don't know if you've been eating a little bit of salt or too much salt lately. Just watch around that because I get the sense that there's something to do with that. Allison, keep on talking to your mom. She says you ask for an awful lot of favors. And don't worry, she doesn't think that you're being too demanding or anything like that. But the thing is, she just makes me feel that you ask her for a lot of favors, but she tries to help as much as you possibly can. But sometimes there are certain things that you need to experience yourself in this lifetime on this planet in order to learn what it is that you don't want. And so she makes me feel that you've learned a couple of very difficult lessons, but you're pretty strong little girl and you're a pretty sharp little cookie. You know what I mean? So keep on doing what you're doing, Allison. And I want to thank you so much 
for writing in and for opening up, you know, to your message from spirit. And keep on doing what you're doing and, and keep on moving forward. Never mind what people are going to think about certain things. You have to float your own boat, honey. So your mom just makes you feel that she's right behind you on that, okay? You still have her love and her support. She's just not there physically for you, but she really loves you, Allison. So don't you worry about anything, okay, sweetie? Thank you so much for writing. Now, I have a message for Jeff Kovorka. I hope I said that right. It's H-O-V-O-R-K-A. Now, mom and dad are really good, Jeff, and they make me feel that they've been around for a number of years. So I'd say six, seven years, I get something to do with passings. And then someone that talks about March or the 3rd or the 30th. I do get the sense that there's something to do with back-to-back -back passings around you, but the thing is, there's also connections to a lot of J's around you, so I don't know if like you're the only J in your family, but I get the sense that there are others. Now, I do get the sense that there's a strong male connection to your side, and so I would think that you have a strong father figure that also comes through. Makes me feel end of month is important somehow, so end of month, what month? I'm not sure if he's referring to birthdays or anniversaries. Now, he does make me feel that you have had some changes in the last maybe six or seven months or that you've had some kind of a heartache somehow inside of you. So I don't know if it had to do with a relationship somehow that didn't quite work out for you. And it doesn't mean that it's a romantic relationship because I don't get the sense of that. I would think it's some kind of relationship either in the family or with a friend somehow, or that you feel like there's something missing in a friendship somehow with someone. But the thing is, they do make me feel that it's important to recognize that this had to happen for a reason or the separation of this person or whatever happened with this relationship what's supposed to happen because the thing is I think there's um I think this is like an ongoing like emotional issue inside in terms of this relationship I don't know if it would have happened while the relationship was quite active and still a little bit of resentment during that time but I feel that that relationship is now severed and as a result of that I think I'm kind of grieving that even though the person has not passed away so I hope you can make sense of that it's just I feel like a something missing inside now um there's someone that passed away i would say close to like 30 years ago that says hello older male always comes around you makes me feel it's like a j name as well it could be a g name too like a george or a joe or a, you know even a jeff but there's something to do with a just sound and um, that comes around and also someone that had cancer comes through they make me feel that they suffered a little bit with that okay so just to let you know i have a little bit of suffering around cancer or blood disorders and then i also had someone that makes me feel they pass away rather quickly but i'd almost think that I didn't wake up in the morning, so I don't know if it's just someone that fell asleep that just never woke up, but it's that quick or it's, I get the sense it's like laying down somehow. It could even be on a couch or on a chair or, you know, that kind of thing or just laid back or, you know, having a nap on, on the hammock. But the thing is, there's something to do with that that's quite strong that comes through Jeff. Now, Jeff, I just want to let you know. I feel really good about your pursuits and what you're doing. I do feel that there's a couple of changes around you, but they're good changes. And I don't know if there's been around, you know, around you someone that's had some hormonal changes, male or female, but they make me feel that that's been difficult. So the thing is, you know, aggravated, not feeling like myself, and it's not quite depression, but I feel a little off. So you might want to get you know, family members, if you're noticing or if they're complaining about certain things or hormonal changes, even within men with andropause or male menopause, and I'm not implying that it's you, it's around you somehow. They do make me feel that needs to be looked at. It could even be a prostate problem or just maybe a female type of problem, but hormonally speaking, they do make me feel that's around you. And so just to let you know that. Now, they're very happy. They do come around. They make me feel a strong presence around Christmas, or they make me feel that happy at Christmas so maybe that's one of your parents happy time and there's also a man that really limps a lot I'd almost think that part of his foot is missing or there was a really bad foot or leg injury on one side 
So thank you so much, Jeff, for writing. I really, really appreciate it. Very proud of you, and I get the sense that they're around you quite a bit, but I think you attract a lot of spirits with what it is that you do just the same, but not in a bad way, so I don't want you to worry about that, okay? Thank you so much for writing in. Now I have Sandra Newcomb. Your dad's around. Don't you worry about him. He's doing fine. I didn't have much more than that. I just felt a little bit of him around. I also saw something to do with bugs. So I don't know if it's ladybugs and those little red bugs with the black dots. That usually means really good luck if there's nothing to do with a ladybug reference around you. Keep on writing in, Sandra. It's just that I felt a little bit of a spark there, so I want to encourage you to keep on writing in, but they're very happy. There's also a younger female that comes through with your dad, okay? Thank you so much for writing in. Now, um, I wanted to also say hi to Sheila and to Amy or Emmy. And Emmy Lou, your grandma's always around you, and I know your mom's having a hard time, and I think that's Sheila, actually. But the thing is, I get the feeling that your grandma was pretty sick, and I get the sense that she suffered a little bit. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, if you can well imagine not remember being born, then of course you can well imagine that you're not going to remember passing. But this is someone that makes me feel that they're always around. Now, there's someone that keeps on doing this when I talk about this lady. So I don't know if there's something to do with the face or if there's something to do with facial hair around you, but I kept on getting that. Oh, happy with the cuff or the cuff links or the bracelet cuff. I wasn't too sure about that. And then roses are red and violets are blue. And I kept on hearing that too. So just to let you know, I've rhymed that up, but I'm going to tell you that was important. And oh, April, and October came up or April 10th or it could be that it's October 4th and then 2-7 kept on popping up 27 27 and 2-7 could be February 7th which is today or it could be July 2nd or the 20th so there was something to do with that too oh dad's friend comes through or there's something to do with like a dad's friend that comes through and i get the sense that would be around your mom but she makes me feel really good say hi to the girls say hi to the girls is what i kept on hearing i smell pink bubble gum or that hubba bubba gum i don't know if you know what that is but I kept on smelling gum i kept on seeing a river and the river seems pretty like it's, it's like it's not a shallow river, so they just kept on talking about this like river that's very dark, or it makes me feel that it's very murky, so I don't quite know what it is. The water seems like it's warm in this river, so it's not cold there. They also talked about rainbows, rainbows and Skittles. I don't know if you ever saw that commercial with the little crabby rainbow, if you pet him the wrong way, and then what happens is that he ends up zapping you, <laughs> the little Skittle rainbow. Well, anyways, there's something to do with that, but very happy around the rainbows or the Skittles, if that means anything to you. But Amy, thank you so much for writing in. Now, for me, I don't get the sense of a passing very long ago. There's also talk about passing about three years ago that someone wants you to recognize too. I also get someone that's dizzy or they talk about dizzy spells or I feel like a weakness or a lightheadedness that's still here on this earthly plane. So just to let you know, if there's anyone around you that's experiencing lightheadedness or maybe the sugars are low or maybe there's something to do with that, tell them to go see a doctor because there's definitely something going on with that. They do make me feel that um, that needs to be looked at somehow, okay? Oh my goodness. I think that is it. Thank you so much, Amy, for writing in. And Sheila, thank you so much. I think I saw a comment from you as well. Everything happens for a reason, and I'm going to tell you, I'm so happy that you both wrote to me on your message from Spirit, and I want to thank you so much for participating, and keep on writing. Even though you've received messages, don't be shy, because sometimes I just pick up little tidbits, and I'm going to share it here with you. Now, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Go to mediumjlane.com, check out the join button. Shh, don't tell my manager I told you that, okay, because we're not launching until next Tuesday, but shh. I can tell you. But you can start joining if you like. You could start putting your comments there because I will be announcing on Tuesday some yay stuff. So keep watching. Thank you so much. I love you and have a wonderful day and I hope you enjoyed your message from Spirit.